Hi, it's JC Needles. Today I'm working on um, a liquid oil project. Um, this is going to be a, a bunch of aspen trees with some fall foliage and still the dark green bushes underneath. I'm just starting to draw out the trees. Um, the biggest thing with something like this is to make sure you don't have them spaced like little soldiers all in a line evenly spaced, all the same size. So I've got the first two on here. They might be a little hard to see. Um, and we're going to continue just to put these in. Lines don't have to be straight, which is a good thing because I can't draw a straight line. Um, anyhow, we're going to do something a little different with this one. I'm using the plain wood. Um, I kind of want the wood color to show through a little bit, maybe be part of the painting. The In between the trees will be all colored, but uh, We'll see how it goes. This is just going to be the drawing and the resist. Um, I have clear resist that I'm using this time because I want the edges a little softer. Uh, usually I use black resist. I kind of like the, uh, I guess you'd call it the coloring book effect. I don't know. But this one I want softer edges, so we're going to use clear. Hopefully we'll get a little more blending and a little softness. I'm trying to make my trees just a little bit wider as they get to the bottom. Not much. And a little bit of space. We're going to put one right on the edge here. Okay, so clear resist. This is going to be really hard to see, but <clears throat> It took a little time, and I took the top off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, still have forest fires here, so my throat's a little dry. Um, took the top off, and I made sure it's cleaned out so I can get a good line. So let's just start putting them on. You need a thick enough line that it's not going to hold your uh, liquid oils in. The nice thing about trees is they have rough bark, so you don't have to worry about bubbles and bumps and... Hopefully you can see it. It's pretty white right now, but it dries transparent. Okay. Oops, there's a little splatter, but on this it's okay. I'll clean that up in a minute. That happens when you get air bubbles in your resist. It's not so bad on... Uh, the Pebio product here and um, they stay pretty well sealed. I have a hard time with that when I'm working with them um, the resist for myself, the wax resist. Then I have to be a lot more aware of ear bubbles. Once they're on the silk they are unfixable so they either have to become part of the design or you're starting over again. thicker right here. Oops, there goes my paper towel. I need that. Okay, so. My lines are more guidelines. I don't necessarily worry about following them exactly. It's more of a placement thing. Oops, I'm keeping this in frame. The tripod's in my way. I have to move it so I can move my arm. I 
just rolled up the bottom of the resist tube a little bit so I don't have to squeeze so hard. Oh, look at that. Well, that's a big one to fix. You'll hear a little music in the background. I like to work with some music on. Kind of limited on my stations out here, so we have country today. Okay, I gotta move this so I'm not quite so wobbly. The biggest thing about resist for me is my hand gets tired after a while. Okay, there's that. Now what's that? I have a tool over here somewhere. Let's see if I can reach it without disturbing the camera. Mm, maybe not. Well, I'm just going to take a stir stick here. Clean this up a little bit. If it's flat enough, the paint will flow right over it so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so there's my aspen trees ready to go. Kind of hard to imagine what it is right now, but um, once we start adding the liquid oils, you'll be able to see how it comes out. And I'm going to set this aside to dry while I work on another project. Thank you.